Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, welcome to our webinar, where we will learn how we can make use of a digital portable tools to continue to work, uh, collaborate, and learn despite uh, facing some restrictions during the uh, pandemics. My name is uh, Joe Lau, and I'm the moderator of today's event. Just a short introduction about myself. I'm the senior product marketing manager of Excel Pond, in charge of a digital product line. I have been working in the electronic distributor industry over 16 years. Today, we are very fortunate to have uh, with us Mr. Alex Wong, who is the sales technical manager at Digital. Alex is uh, based in US. He is in charge of global markets and provide the training and uh, consultation to customers on embedded uh, hardware and FPGA testing solutions. Digilance has also uh, sponsored a very attractive uh, products price worth up to uh, 3,000 US dollar for our lucky job later. Before we kick off the webinar and hear from Alex, I will pay our Excel pawn corporate video. Please relax and enjoy. Every day, our lives are connected through the Internet of Things. Driven by innovation, Excel Point is making future technology possible. Established in 1987, Excel Point provides the latest semiconductor technology to the customers and enable the customers to deliver their products in a faster speed to the market. We work closely with our principals, creating innovations to complement and enhance our customers' products and solutions. With a proven track record in digital signal processing and unparalleled wireless connectivity, Excel Point strives to be at the forefront of wearable devices. Our dedicated team of engineers aim to improve our customers' operational efficiency and cost competitiveness. In the fields of industrial automation and energy management, our smart sensor solutions allow facilities to run preemptive equipment maintenance. Even at home, we are opening the gateway to seamless control, bringing features and applications together. Over the years, our network has spread, establishing a presence in 50 cities in over 10 countries, with a diverse workforce of over 650 employees across our specializations. Setting our sights on the horizon, Excel Point aims to be an international pioneer and the driving force towards bringing the future closer to today. Excel Point, empowering future technology. I hope you all have uh, enjoyed the video. Let us uh, give a warm welcome to Alex. After Alex's uh, presentation, we will have a Q&A session. Uh, I encourage you uh, to type your questions uh, in the Zoom Q&A box. We will try to answer as many as uh, possible. Uh, after the Q&A, uh, we will announce the lucky draw winners. Uh, so please uh, stay here if you want to know uh, the results of Lucky Job. Now uh, we hand over the floor to you, Alex. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you, Joe, for the uh, brief introduction. Uh, before I start the presentation, I just want to uh, remind everyone, don't need to wait until the end of the presentation and type in the question you have. Instead, when you have any, whenever you have question, you feel free to type in the Q and A. We have a team at the back, and to uh, record, uh to uh, record that and I keep it, and uh, we will answer the question like what Joe said as many as possible. We can uh after the presentation, uh, and um, so um, uh, so let me start the presentation and uh. First of all, uh, thanks for attending the webinar today. I know you guys have busy schedule. And um, 
Uh, what I'm going to share with you and uh, talk about today is the uh, how to use the uh, analog discovery pro or other like digital uh, make signal products, which are versatile tools uh, in your uh, circuit debugging and testing remotely and uh, collaboratively around the world with your team. As you know, we have a hybrid office model right now and, and you work uh, with anyone, I, uh, maybe uh, 6,000 miles away. Uh, so uh, there, those two start offer by digital are a very good way for you to continue the developments and uh, shorten the uh, uh, design cycle. So let me start. And uh, as you guys probably see uh, in the uh, industry, uh, especially the test equipment industry, more and more uh, portable device, uh, test and measurement devices, including data logger, uh, scope, uh, logic analyzers are available um, and are in different forms and are used uh, widely in uh, deployable test, uh, compete test systems like the first image. And then sometimes uh, in the production line, you'll see people use Raspberry Pi with, uh, that is one of our products called Analog Discovery 2 in the uh, uh, manufacturing test structure, testers. And then um, for the uh, development or research and design, you'll have people like, uh, maybe in uh, Asia or in uh, North America or like anywhere around the world working uh, in Agile and uh, not to uh, basically simultaneous to, to develop the uh, portal. And you need something like make them get access more easily like in distributed team approach. So like here we have, have the Analog Discovery Pro set up remotely in one of the station and uh, uh, different team members in our loc different locations can use the uh, Analog Discovery Pro remotely. Um, and during the pandemic, more and more people work from home, including myself. I have been working from home and remotely for over like 18 months. And however, it doesn't mean you stop the development. And, um, and uh, more and more companies, tech companies or like other system companies, they encourage the uh, engineers and developers to uh, continue the design debugging uh, at home or like uh, anywhere they can get access to the uh, design. And, but you need some hardware to uh, scope uh, out signals to prove that design really work before you move that forward to the uh, uh, production. So um, you, like, uh, you need something like on your desk like here, our digital dis discovery or analog discovery to uh, debug the uh, circuits and systems at any time, anywhere with your like desktop or laptop. And um, during the pandemic, people even want to get access for one single device and, and design remotely. Uh, and uh, so basically they don't check out the office periodically. They just use the like, cloud service uh, to get access to two and then we call and uh, apply the data and do the analysis also on the cloud. Uh, to match this challenge and uh, also the engineers are asked to develop more and more uh, complicated and um, uh, systems design as well as like shorten the development cycle lead time. And right now we have uh, facing a very severe like component shortage, I'm sh I assume some uh, engineers have to like spin the design quite frequently to uh, make sure they can get the right components or, uh, or any alternative components. So we need something like affordable as well as portable uh, and uh, which uh, provide the interactive text results and, uh, and, and uh, allow users to share the data screenshots and invoices easily with their team members or clients or customers or suppliers. Uh, like what I just said, remote access is a key right? and uh, portable all in one. You may not just want one scope sitting on the desk and have like another like logic analyzer. You want something with uh, 12, 13 instruments in one box. Um, and artificial intelligence, machine learning and data analytics are widely used for uh, different uh, 
applications and and you may need to like capture data uh, in sensor for sensor fusion and uh, one the automated test is very popular uh, so uh, and also customized tests is basically uh, uh, kind of uh, popular too in the uh, industry so increasing the customizability and automation is also very important uh, for uh, any portable test and measurement device and let me introduce uh, the latest digital uh, analog discovery, which actually uh, offer you what I just mentioned as uh, the requirement of the uh, new or like upcoming portable test and measurement device for the industry. So this is a true portable and mixed signal uh, scope uh, with uh, dedicated uh, analog and digital channels, as well as uh, external triggers. In total, with uh, this offering, you will have 24 input and outputs, four analog inputs, two analog outputs, two uh, channel digital uh, power supplies, and 16 digital channel I.O. And I just mentioned like the uh, two triggers. Uh, in addition to that, with the waveforms, which is the free multi-instrument software apps, you can um, get access to 12 different uh, instruments. First of all, that is the uh, oscilloscope, and then waveform generator, power supply. Those are like analog side. Data logs are also analog side. For the digital side, you have logic analyzer, protocol analyzer, pattern generator, and under frequency domain, you have spectrum analyzer, network analyzer, impedance analyzer, and uh, also for basic electronics, you have like volmeter and acetic IO. It's quite versatile and uh, comprehensive. Uh, I will go through those uh, instruments one by one later when I introduce waveforms. So bear with me. Um, even though we talk about portability and um, and our affordability, it doesn't mean we want to trade that off with the signal quality. So we know uh, uh, under the data acquisition, signal acquisition processing, signal quality is the very important factor. You don't want to apply signal incorrectly or like uh, in a, like a non-precise way to affect your whole results. So we offer like 14 bits uh, our resolution uh, through the uh, Analog Discovery Pro, and it go, can go up to like 16 usable bits when you uh, just use the uh, waveform software. And then we also know like noise is very, like it's unavoidable, but what you can do is to filter them out to uh, make sure you get the white like plot or like chart. So we are uh, with the uh, oscilloscope, uh, under waveforms, you can uh, choose to uh, have a hardware bandwidth filter by, uh, and, uh, for uh, 20 megahertz. And then sometimes you need to capture the data in long term. And then, uh, so you need uh, a huge buffer size and we uh, uh, offer extended memory for large signals captures up to like 12, 120 million samples. And you know, you always want to uh, increase and boost the sampling wave uh, uh, under the like hardware limitation. So we did that through the software enhancement so you can boost the uh, sampling weight to uh, 125 megahertz. And by four channel, you can boost up the uh, sampling weight to uh, 0 0.5 giga samples per second. And the other beauty, uh, and I like it the most uh, is the uh, analog discovery to act as uh, embedded uh, standalone uh, Linux machine. So basically, uh, under the Linux mode, you can uh, use the uh, device uh, terminal to build customized tests, automated tests, and streamline the data through the uh, Ethernet port or USB host uh, to uh, uh, to any machine or to the cloud, I will introduce these two other features later, like just next two slides. So um, as you 
can see at the back of the uh, annual discovery pool, we have the uh, Ethernet port. And then uh, you can basically, uh, first of all, like remotely control the annual discovery pool from a host machine or from a network when it connected uh, through the uh, Ethernet. Um, at the same time, you can use a Wi Fi dongle, plug that into the one of the host USB, USB host and uh, connect the annual discovery pool to the uh, internet and, and, and uh, uh, to the wireless network, or just uh, uh, get the data out to the uh, USB flash drives. So it comes handy and basically with this uh, laptop, uh, lighter than laptop annual discovery pool, you can uh, uh, apply the data, get it out in uh, different ways and uh, even streamline that. Uh, to the cloud. Um, the other thing that is very important in the uh, signal uh, processing is the triggering. So we offer cost trigger. So for example, uh, you can uh, use digital protocol to trigger uh, uh, the acquisition in the uh, Cisco tier. Uh, and then uh, we offer two external triggers. So basically you can uh, make use of external signal to trigger an event, um, and uh, all are configurable in uh, uh, in the waveforms. Uh, so you can uh, basically use uh, based on what uh, you have uh, uh, in the desire to uh, acquire the white data at any time. And um, so uh, for uh, the uh, annual discovery work properly or like seamlessly, we need a uh, piece of like multi-instrument, virtual instrument software. And we uh, 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 homegrown the uh, analog, uh, uh, the waveforms, which is very lightweight and, uh, um, and uh, it's free and it offers a uh, lot of different features. Um, and basically a user only need to take like under 60 seconds to download, install, uh, and get the, uh, waveform software apps on the desktop. And you don't right now need any hardware on hand to, uh, to, to, to uh, look at the feature. You can use demo mode. And uh, I, let me show you how it works. And, uh, and, and let me play the video and then you can have better understanding. So first of all, you sign up and download the software and it uh, takes like two seconds, literally. And then you can uh, just go through the wizard to uh, download, uh, install the uh, waveforms apps. And when you complete, then they will uh, bring you to the uh, Waveforms help tabs, you can go through that, or you can just use the demo mode to look at like the instruments offered by the annual discovery to one of our, our popular as a measurement device. So, uh, uh, let me uh, go through the uh, instrument one by one. And I will uh, look into the analog side first and uh, the commonly used or like what you guys always in contact is the scope. And as you can see from the uh, screenshots, it's really like uh, any other scope you have. And we have like time base, resolution, and a uh, cursor and measurement. And in addition to that, you can uh, build a signal under FFT spectrum histogram, lots of different options. Um, and also that uh, users to add different customized channel, map channel with script or function. And then also uh, export the data and uh, look at the detailed like uh, data here. The next one is analog out, uh, which is the waveform generator. And um, uh, this, you can also see all the standard features you uh, notice in other like uh, USB waveform generator or that bench top waveform generator. Um, and then uh, we also offer a modulation window here. You can see to our uh, one different uh, modulated uh, signals 
and uh, basically you can create uh, different kinds of signals uh, and sonic, uh, sonic sound wave and then uh, sweep, the frequency sweep. Um, after that, after you create a signal, you can pay back, you have pay window, so you can pay the uh, create signal and then I'll put that uh, signal to the headphone us Analog discovery tool, which I will uh, introduce later, and uh, analog discovery board, which I just introduced. Both of them have the headphones jack, so you can pay what you create. And next, I will switch the gear to the frequency domain and others, uh, which also kind of like analog side. Uh, spectral analyzer, I'm sure more, many of you are very familiar with it. And um, so uh, basically, you can choose different uh, output from. Uh, the uh, how many used a uh, uh, fast Fourier transform or the other one which is the uh, uh, Turk uh, Z transform algorithm to uh, one the, uh, uh, to create a uh, power spectrum and then you can kick into one frequency component to look at all the magnitude and close to the uh, Spectral analyzer is a network analyzer. It's also uh, under the frequency domain analysis. And uh, uh, basically what you do is just like uh, to use the side wave to sweep the uh, circuit and uh, look at the response. You can output the data uh, in FFT, Euclid's or Nicole's format. And then if you do not want to look at the whole frequency response or circuit response, you can just look, you can look at like individual like uh, uh, impedance reactions resistance for, for the uh, uh, elements uh, in the uh, impedance analyzer, which just launched it, I think a year ago. And then you can see uh, this uh, setting can be customized and like have a few resistor. And then the next thing is also useful is the data logger. So um, uh, with the IoT and also uh, uh, machine learning data analytics, you may need to acquire uh, data like for like a month, few months to uh, run the analysis. So we have the data logger for you to do the uh, large signal capture and uh, it works as like standard like data logger you see. And then uh, let's move on to the uh, digital side, which you know uh, is also very important in uh, the embedded design and uh, digital circuit. And uh, logic analyzer, I'm sure most of you guys know what it is. I'm not going to explain what it is, uh, but you can see the logic analyzer interfaces uh, really like what you see in the uh, other like benchtop uh, logic analyzer or USB logic analyzer. Uh, software and then uh, you can create a uh, customized bus uh, and uh, and this is uh, this logic analyzer is uh, 5 volt tolerance and this can decode like 1.8 volt and 3.3 uh, volt uh, logic and closer to the logic analyzer is the protocol analyzer so this one we create a uh, certain uh, specific uh, protocols like UART, SPI, I square C uh, uh, analyzer so that you can just key in or write the uh, script in the script editor to uh, generate like automated tests to scope through the uh, communication protocol or uh, and decode that. I'm going to introduce the script editor later in a few slides. And then we have digital E Let's talk about uh, digital out, which is the pattern generator. It's really like uh, other pattern generator you see. And then you can create individual signal or bus pattern and generate clock and uh, trigger. And then uh, I'm sure like vometer is like everyone used that from like uh, high school. <laughs> and uh, we also include that. And you can look at the DC value and then also true RMS or RMS value. And then we also have a two channel power supply up to five volt. Uh, they are DC, but uh, it can be configurable. You can type it like 1.5 to negative five. So, 
And then I just mentioned the uh, script editor like in one of the slides. And in fact, this is very uh, useful too when you want to create custom tests or like automate the tests. Uh, as you can see from the screenshot, uh, this is in a JavaScript. So basically we provide different getting started example in, uh, for each instrument to let you like uh, uh, use the JavaScript open, record, do it in each instrument. And, uh, and then you can copy and paste this code to uh, continue on your own design. Uh, uh, in addition to uh, standard user, user interface, we know like people want something like uh, customized on, uh, on their own. So basically we uh, provide software development key in Python C++ uh, to make user create their own custom application in different IDE. And uh, we also work with uh, uh, different companies like including our parent company, NI, uh, let the user uh, create a, a graphical programming interface uh, in live view and, uh, and connect it with, to the uh, digital, uh, digital portal and uh, portable test and measurement device, apply data to look at the result. And uh, MATLAB, you can use one of the MATLAB toolbox to, uh, to send the data to the AD, uh, to, to our tool and uh, also export the data from our tool to MATLAB and uh, to do the further analysis. So uh, next I'm going to introduce uh, uh, one of our cost optimized uh, make signal tool. Uh, and uh, maybe you guys have used it already. It's called Analog Discovery 2. And it has been around in the market for almost like seven or eight years. And it's one of our popular like low cost uh, data acquisition tool, or I would say make signal tool. And basically with uh, uh, is compact enough to uh, fit into a, a pocket or laptop. So, and you can just like carry it with you uh, uh, during travel and, and then continue to work on your design. And, uh, and then uh, along the way, we create different adapters that can be directly plugged into the you know, discovery to connector here. Uh, and add the uh, uh, additional functionality. For example, you can use the BNC adapter to uh, connect the uh, AD2, NL Discovery 2 to the uh, probes or do the uh, AC, DC coupling or decoupling. And then we just launched the uh, transistor tester, which is now uh, already out of stock. Uh, to let user run the curve chaser with different discrete devices. And then the impedance analyzer, like if you want to look at uh, each uh, elements, like maybe capacitor or like uh, inductor, how the reactance like, uh, how the impedance like, then you can use it correctly with the impedance analyzer. Uh, in the next few slides, I'm going through uh, different applications. Some of them have been used uh, uh, from our customers and some of them we just uh, uh, listen to our customer and build it and as an example so that you can take that and, uh, and modify it uh, for your own like test design. So first of all, automated testing I'm sure is very popular right now and everyone is talking about how to uh, automate the test so that they can they have the data at like microsecond or millisecond. So we have one as an example, and, uh, and uh, uh, test group and everything is like published in the uh, digital reference page. You can later on take a look. So um, I just like uh, have a very brief introduction about uh, what it is and, and you can look at the step-by-step uh, -step guide later. So basically we are uh, connecting the PMO85, which is a, a spy enabled ADC. And then why the uh, script uh, in the, uh, with the waveforms uh, software development kit library measure the signals going to the PMO85 and going into the uh, SPI and then uh, compare the both results. So this is how it's set up. And then, uh, and then this is how we teach you and walk you through for the software set up in the Linux uh, mode. Uh, and then we also explain you uh, the script uh, 
that we are using to the test. And then at the end, I, we, uh, let, we let you download. If you don't have time to read that and, and create it, and okay, here's the solution. You can just download and one and one the Python, and then you can see the result. That is the result. And we compare the uh, measure signal flowing directly to the thermal couple uh, connect to the PMOF 85. And then also the, uh, the uh, signal that convert from the PMOF 85. Next is uh, actually is a real customer application. Uh, um, one of our customer, he's an embedded uh, designer. Uh, he has to uh, create a test uh, for a uh, baby swing design. And uh, basically what he needs to do is to make sure the uh, motor controller stay with the uh, spat and, uh, and, and is to com eventually comply with the safety protocol. And, uh, and we, Replicate, replicate this design uh, and, uh, and using the uh, Arduino Uno and some other like uh, 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 motor, uh, motor controller. And then we are running that uh, with our custom application. So let me show you how it looks like. Like the automated testing I just show you is available in uh, the um, digital uh, reference page. So um, this is uh, uh, the uh, step we took Mokufu to create a project and we also provide the uh, uh, motor control design uh, in Arduino. And then uh, the instruments we are using are uh, the static IO, voltmeter, logic analyzer, and pattern generator. And you can look at how we use it. And the complete program in C uh, also explained it and uh, by, by part, um, and uh, you can see the snippet. And then uh, in the end, the customer need to take the data out and, and save it somewhere. So we also create a Python script so that you can um, take the data, uh, the Python script that we create, um, uh, and we create the Python script so that you can take the data out from the uh, C application and run the analysis in Python or like, uh, directly uh, streamlined to the cloud. I will explain how it does later. And then uh, in the signal processing data acquisition, like modeling, demodulation, modulation is also uh, playing a big role. So we have a getting started project to show you how to uh, demodulate the signal and and make it back. So this is uh, somehow uh, what we does in this project. We uh, create the uh, amplitude modulated signals, record it and filter it to demodulate that signal. And then you can listen that uh, for headphones and then uh, pay back. And then we just explain uh, the whole details and uh, and then it's uh, also, uh, this uh, test is one under the script editor is written in JavaScript. And you can take a look later. And uh, let's switch to the digital uh, design debugging. And uh, Manchester uh, signal is uh, very popular in communication. We, in our digital logic analyzer, we do uh, let user directly decode the Manchester signal. And then you can see from the screenshot, like you can add the uh, Manchester signal decoding here and, uh, and then put in all the parameters and then uh, look at the uh, trigger and set the trigger. And then at the end, you can see the message. And I'm going to bring you to the uh, detail page, step-by-step -step guide, and then you can take a look later. Uh, so what we do is to uh, firstly use the Python to create a CSV data file and then input that uh, CSV data file in the pattern generator uh, under the waveforms. And then, uh, uh, and then we create a uh, like decoder in logic analyzer to 
you poke the Manchester signal and just uh, show you what the, 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 I just show you the, the message is displayed in the logic analyzer, as well as the, uh, the, the, the whole uh, sig uh, digital signal. So uh, the next one uh, is the uh, uh, debugging the spy uh, comparison protocol. And then uh, you can see uh, what we do is to uh, use the standard uh, logic analyzer user interface to uh, decode the uh, uh, spy communication protocol between the uh, P, uh, one of the PMOD microphone and the basis three at PGA uh, development board. And, uh, and uh, we also show you how to do that step by step by uh, including uh, attaching the uh, Bavado CAD tools design. And then we scope out the uh, spy protocol uh, through the backboard and test point header. And you can take a look later. And the last application I want to share with you is the uh, like how to stream the data to the uh, cloud and then uh, you can do the further analysis. Uh, we found out one very uh, uh, cost effective uh, and basically free cloud space offered by our uh, math work is called FinSpeed. And you can just create an account. I will show you how to do that and then create a channel and uh, your own space to uh, import the data on the cloud and do different analysis. And I think you can even generate, uh, use the MATLAB script to uh, generate the analysis in the cloud, in the thingspeed.com. So one of the examples is to uh, actually uh, use the analog discovery tool and impedance analyzer to, uh, to uh, look, uh, measure the uh, reactance resistance of the, uh, of the uh, resistors and capacitors. And then it's written in Python. And then um, you can see uh, the result chart here and it's in real time. So if you have the data acquiring from the annual discovery tool and after the processing, we will directly send to the speed and, uh, and then you can see the plot depending on what uh, uh, metrics you are looking at. So um, here's what uh, I just present. And to wrap up, uh, I believe uh, the growing probability of the automated tests are uh, in sense of vision, and artificial intelligence, and data analytics uh, and make uh, developers to design, uh, debug the designs and uh, their system uh, remotely and with different people and, uh, and in a like, consist, uh, constant way. So, uh, I'm sh uh, I think uh, using a flexible uh, and customary uh, portable uh, test emission device is quite key in, uh, the, in going forward in the uh, testing industry. And I pass back to Joe. And then if you guys have had, and you guys can still like uh, waiting and typing down the question uh, and we will look at uh, each question you guys have. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Yes, uh, we really have learned so many insider testing tips from you. This can save the troubleshooting time so much. Yeah, I'm sure you will have uh, many questions uh, you want to ask Alex. Yeah, we will now kick off our Q&A session and later uh, open the floor to everyone. Alex, uh, can you inform me uh, that uh, what is the key applications of a digital analog discovery pool? All right, so we do not uh, target at a specific application in terms of technology or like field, but I would say uh, the analog discovery pro and analog discovery tool is for anyone to uh, debug, uh, validate and uh, test their uh, design and circuit system uh, in a variety, a wide variety of fields. So, Basically, like you can see, I uh, just showcase all different kinds of applications from analog, from digital, from system, from circuit, and uh, and uh, from prototyping to like 
uh, prototyping verification to uh, like manufacturing test. So, mm, got it. Yes, thank you, Alex. Uh, the second question is that, uh, uh, what is the difference uh, between the analog discovery tool and analog discovery pole? What is the difference? Mm. So there are lots of differences. One are low testable mm. differences, like number of channels, and also like you can see uh, we have the embedded OS in analog discovery pole, while you don't have any like standalone machine mode in uh, analog discovery tool. Um, I guess like uh, uh, Joe, uh, you can share, uh, we published one of the one blog posts uh, to compare the uh, annual discovery poll with the annual discovery tool. Uh, maybe you can share that with the audience later. Yes, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, that is my last question. Uh, what is the general lead time of uh, 82 and 80 poll? So I, I can't tell you the concrete uh, number one up as you know like the whole supply chain is so unstable at the moment but uh we luckily mitigate the supply risk for these two products and like right now we have a uh, pretty stable and uh uh supply and uh plenty of stock on hand but i so i, I would say we don't have any like uh shortage in the next eight months or nine months but i can't guarantee so uh, <laughs> But uh, I guess you guys have some in stock right now, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, let me do the promotion first. Actually, Excel Pond is the official digital uh, distributor. Uh, we keep a uh, few uh, stock on hand to support our customer, especially in the analog discovery tool. And a few pieces, analog discovery pro is also stock on hand, uh, can support uh, your production. So if any customer uh, have an interest of our product, uh, welcome to contact me. Uh, I will provide the service and quotation to you. Uh, try our best to support the short lead time. You know, uh, recently the uh, electronics marketing is uh, facing the uh, challenging of the shortage uh, in this years and in coming years. So uh, distributor, uh, uh, XLP is the uh, very good distributor. <laughs> uh, we can support uh, and try our best to support uh, your production, okay? Uh, Alex, uh, I see. Uh, I still have a few uh, questions in the Q&A box. Uh, can you uh, try to answer last uh, few questions? You can choose sure, sure. The, yeah. So uh, I think uh, one of them is actually uh, uh, in the chat box, but I moved to uh, Q&A. That is the first question I encountered. That is like, what's the difference between the uh, spectral analyzer and network analyzer? I think. Um, let me see. Uh, I guess uh, as spectral analyzers from the name is like to uh, uh, send a uh, frequency sweep to uh, the, the uh, side wave in a uh, uh, range of frequencies and look at the uh, frequency components uh, for the uh, for for the whole circuit uh, or the device under test. While uh, the uh, uh, spec uh, net. I think the uh, network analyze uh, the, let me see, let me see the question again. Yeah, and then uh, the impedance analyzer, sorry. Uh, the impedance analyzers just look at the specific like uh, uh, reactants, capacitance under that like uh, uh, AC circuit in the frequency domain. So uh, that, I, I think that is the key differences, but I'm sure you can look at our reference page and uh, the uh, waveforms help tab and uh, it, can provide you more detailed question. So uh, I forgot to mention that in the uh, presentation, uh, the stuff that I introduced in the uh, presentation, I mean, the uh, it's very high level. Basically, it's just by I touched the like key points and key features for each instrument. So we have a lot more than that. And I wish and encourage you to download, install and use the demo mode and all the information are out and, and is open. And uh, we don't, we, we basically try to pro, uh, provide as, many, as much information as we can to the target customers and audience uh, so that they can understand our tool better before they use it. Mm -hmm. now, uh, the, uh, someone uh, asked about, can annual discovery part the uh, body graph? I, I, I assume uh, he or she referred to 
I know this topic too. But that is the case. Yeah, you can use the network analyzers to plot the body graph, uh, and then to show the frequency response. And then, I, one more question, right? Uh, the other question is like, I do the power, I do the desired power supply. So any discovery can modify for measure gain, margin, and phase screen. Phase margin, I believe so, but again, like I don't know how your test set up and what kind of what what you refer to. So, but uh, it should it should it, it should be uh, it can be done. So, yes, yes. that's great. That's great. Yes, yeah, so thank you, thank you, Alex. Thank you for your Q and A session. I hope you have a, uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the webinar, and I hope we, uh, I hope uh, we can uh, stay in contact uh, for uh, future activity by Excel Pond. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>